Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theories. Today, we are talking about Dr. Sleep. Red Rum. Yeah. Okay, um, I wanted to tell a, I think it's a funny story right off the bat. So, um, I saw Grady Hendrix wrote an article or a blog post, I'm not sure which one, that said, Dr. Sleep, the sequel that nobody asked for. Um, I found that funny, so I tweeted him, I said this is literally the, the most requested sequel that people have asked Stephen King for on, on the road, on book tours, you know, in discussion forums, um, in interviews. And it's like, whatever happened to Danny Torrance? So, literally, it, I, I told him it literally is the book that people asked for. And he said, well, Stephen King doesn't bow to anybody, so you're wrong. Um, I, I didn't come back with this, I just let it go. I'm not one to be arguing um, too, too far. When somebody's stuck on something, somebody's stuck on something. But uh, it l literally, he ran a contest on what book he, he wanted, he asked the fans, what book do you want me to work on next? And Dr. Sleep won. So literally, it is, he bowed to the fans and he did what the fans wanted. So the book itself, I think, is fine. Um, I don't really have too many issues with it. Other than, actually it's a big issue, but the one issue I have is, and spoilers for those of you that that watch this show who do not read the books first, I know there's a lot of you, um, Abra, the little girl in this book, is super overpowered. Um, I was, there was never a moment's tension when she was on, she was on screen or on the page, there was never a worry in my mind that she would not beat the True Knot or Rose or whoever they were up against. There was never a moment where I was scared for them. Um, not once. Uh, the ending really petered out for me. Um, I didn't enjoy it whatsoever. Um, now, uh, those are the only complaints I have, but they all cycle back to Abra being OP. Too overpowered for the book. When your good guy, when your good guy's not in any trouble, there's no drama to, to hold me in. So, but the book is fine myself. Um, I don't really have any other complaints about it other than that. Um, I did enjoy the experience. When I got got to the end, I don't know why I enjoyed the experience. It's just one of those books, um, and it's also one of the only Stephen King books that I have only read once. I have not gone back and reread it, which I need to, because I think Will Patton does the audiobook, um, and Will Patton's one of my favorite narrators of all time. So, jumping into what ties this into the King verse, what ties this into the Dark Tower. So the King verse is really simple, really easy, of course. We all know this is the sequel to The Shining. So, the, so they go back to Sidewinder, Colorado. They talk about the Overlook Hotel. That one's easy. Next one is, how does it tie into the Dark Tower? Um, there, it's, it's explicitly said in here, um, I think it's Dan or somebody else says there are other worlds than these. So that's a direct tie-in. That's, that's something that directly ties it into the Dark Tower. But you also have the True Knot. Um, all throughout... Stephen King's Dark Tower series and his other, like Salem's Lot, and even the new one, um, well, I, I don't want to, I just said new one, but on the Outsider, so spoiler alerts for the Outsider if you want to stop. There are either blood vampires or psychic vampires. Um, and these, whether these creatures be prim or from the prim, or then I don't think they're really the old ones, but they are those type of creatures. Now, um, the creature, the true not in this one can use or has the ability to dim, which is something else from the Dark Tower. Um, what I think is these are some of the same creatures that you get that they end up fighting that, um, I always forget what they're called, but that uh, Jake and Callahan fight in, what is it, Song Susanna? Those last three books, no, the last two really go together. But when, when Callahan dies, again, spoilers, whatever, but you, I told you from the beginning you were dealing with spoilers. So, is there anything else that I missed? I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, I've read some fan theories um, that I didn't care too much for, and I'm not going to give them any weight or credit here. Um, but if you have any other points that I missed or um, that you found yourself, please leave them down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Thursday Theories Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!